Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Brighton. I am a part-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, Macari, eBay, whatnot, here on YouTube. I do all of the above. And today we have a five pound Shop Goodwill unboxing. Um, this was on Shop Goodwill. I honestly have no idea what I spent on this. Um, I remember buying a couple lots from the same um, location. Um, but I already threw away the box. I don't remember what the location is. Um, but yeah, I bought this because I saw some turquoise. I saw this necklace. I'm like 99% sure this is amber. Um, and those were the two deciding factors for me to buy it. I was like, if that's turquoise and that's amber, I'm buying it. So that is that. Get into it. Oh, and I also saw this in the corner of the lot. And I was like, ooh, is that is that um Kate? Is that Kendra Scott? If you don't know, I love selling Kendra Scott. It's one of my absolute favorite brands to resell. Um, and this definitely gives off very Kendra Scott vibes. I do not see any maker's marks on it though. Um, there is like some like a red marking on that so i'm not sure what that is supposed to be but these are real stones so there's like an inclusion here on this stone this one's pretty much clear and then you can kind of see that these are real natural stones um i'm gonna lower you guys a little bit there we go um so yeah i think these are real natural stones i'm not sure if this is kendra scott or not but i'm definitely gonna have to do some research on that um this is unmarked it's definitely in the style of like a chan lu or a victoria emerson um it has these gorgeous like bluish gray i think they're gray um kind of reminds me of marble so maybe this is like a gray marble i don't see any maker's marks um let's get a length so you, these you can usually wear um so it's 13 inches 14 inches and 15 inches so you can wear this as a necklace like as a you know a collar or a choker length necklace or you wear it obviously as a wrap bracelet so let's since it's unmarked let's just do four dollars on it really nice okay let's pull out some more <clears throat> guys i'm still trying to get over my cold i got sick right on christmas night um, so not fun, not fun at all, but, um, yeah, I'm hoping, you know, ooh, there it is, there's what I think is amber, I'm like 99% sure it's amber, look how awesome that is, look how big those chunks are, look how they compare to my hand, or my fingers, I should say, like, those are big, nice sized chunks of amber, this is definitely amber for sure. I don't even I, like. I don't even need the light to tell that is definitely amber. Um, I don't even know if I have a blue light on me or not. Let's see, do I have a blue light? Does this do blue light? No, this one doesn't have my blue light. I have a little slider one that has the blue light, but I don't know where I put it. I can't find it. Ooh, this is like a carved like conch shell or coral. And we have those look like real pearls. Hmm. Um, oh, there's a bat. That's cool. You see that's like a little bat. Okay, so let's just, let's just have that. This looks like it could be silver. I see silver chain. So that's exciting. So, okay, so we'll put that back in there. And let's just untangle this. All right, I raised you up a little bit. So let's pull that back. And let's see, this is very in like the Tiffany style, but it is not marked. This is definitely for a larger wrist. I would say probably like an eight, eight and a half. Let's just do a dollar on it. We have a silver tone. Very distressed. I don't think this is silver. It's not magnetic. So we will um, put this aside. And this one is, um, this one is magnetic. So I'll just put all these, all those to the side. All the ones that are magnetic. Okay, this is not marts i think these are amethyst or
Um, I don't see markings on the clasp. Um, but these look like real pearls and I think amethyst chips. So that is stunning. Oh, we have the matching necklace right here. So we have the matching necklace. And the necklace is not marked as well. This is definitely handmade. Yes, and I would definitely say these are like amethyst and also maybe some quartz mixed in. I don't know if you can see that or not. Really pretty. It's not like a more vibrant purple, or it's more like a more like a bluish gray purple. Not gray, bluish purple. There we go. So that's stunning. Um, I wouldn't think that would be like is it Alexand Alexandrite? That is um like a bluish purple color. Um, I don't think that's that. But I might I might hold on to this until I get a Presidium. I'm still waiting to hear back from that. This is an 18 inch um, necklace, and then the bracelet is a. Bracelet is a seven. This looks like a Tiffany earring. We have a Sopata little single earring marked with the arrowhead. So we'll put that to the side. Test. Um, so this I might hold on to until I get my Presidium. Um, if my Presidium come, like if it, the return goes through and I can be able to get my Presidium before this video goes up, I will put it on the screen, but I have a feeling it's not going to get here in time. So we have that. That's nice. Okay. We have this is um this is vintage. It's a barrel clasp. And these are like very boho. It's a shorter length. Let's just do a dollar on it. Like dyed wood bone. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, we have a really pretty butterfly bracelet. It is adjustable. These do feel like they could be maybe glass. Yes. Let's do a dollar on the butterfly. Guys, I don't know how many tries that took me to get that. Uh, all right. Um, we have a little stretch bracelet that has some Melifory beads. So it's a clear glass with a little blue and yellow detail. Love Melifory. These are cube cut crystal. Um, it has a little umbrella charm. Has good stretch. Um, let's do four dollars on the Melifori and the crystal. So four dollars for that one. Really pretty. The feeling one of you guys is gonna snag that. Anytime I get Melifori, it usually goes pretty quick. Um, this is like some kind of handmade. That's craft. Um, let's see. This is a vintage. Um barrel clasp. These are um, paper beads usually from overseas. Um, my last one actually ended up being a brand and it actually was a pretty good brand. This one, um, even though it wasn't marked, this is 20 inches. Let's just do two dollars on it. Very boho. So two dollars on that. Okay, so this is cool. This is going to be very Betsy Johnson vibes. There is no maker's mark. Um, so it's like an antique, oh, it's Mark Disney. Oh, this is, um, this is Pirates of the Caribbean. So this is a Pirates of the Caribbean, um, pendant. So I don't know if this goes with it or not. I'll keep it with it just in case, but I will have a price on the screen on that. Love that. Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. This looks like a, um, J. Crew. Um, this is a sugar fix. It has some wear. So we're just going to do a dollar on it, but it's really pretty. Actually, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to use these rhinestones. So never mind. I'm going to keep that. That is going to be a me crafting piece. Okay, that is craft. Okay. Ooh, that made a lot of noise. Okay. This is an unmarked. Oh, there it was two. Okay. So this has no clasp. It is a deer with a cross. I have no idea what this means. Um, I, I have no idea. I'll have some info maybe on the screen. Who knows? <laughs> um, I don't see a clasp on this. This kind of reminds me of silver, but I don't think it is. 
It's not magnetic at all. I would assume one of them would be marked silver if it was, but maybe not. So we will test this. I am testing silver at the end of the video, hopefully. Um, this has wear. It's craft. Ooh, this is pretty. This is very pretty. This is a real natural stone. Maybe, maybe it's a composite stone. Maybe it's some kind of agate. Maybe it's a kind of jasper. Kind of gives me jasper vibes. It's really pretty. It has pink crystal beads. Faux pearls, more pink crystal. It's a nice length one. Um, I wouldn't think the class would be silver, but we can check. We can check just to make sure. Um, this is about 20 inches. So um, 20 inches on that, and we will test that class for silver. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys the full length of this amber. So here's the amber. I'm like 99% sure this is amber. It's definitely amber. I that This is definitely amber. But this is about 26 inches. No, no clasp. This goes right over the head. Um, and these are all amber. And nice sized chunks of amber. Unpolished, like raw kind of pieces of amber and it kind of graduated so it goes like smaller medium and gets into like these nice large chunks I love this um I'm not a huge huge amber person I like some amber I like amber when it's mixed with like turquoise and other natural stones but um I'm gonna sell this so I will be selling this um I have no idea what something like this would go for but if anyone is interested, feel free to send me an email. So this is really nice and it's amber. I will be selling that. Okay. We have a, this one's wood. I'll just be a dollar. Yeah, I don't really know how to price amber. I know amber is very expensive. This is a little kid's necklace with a pink heart. That'll just be a dollar. I don't think my niece would want that one. This also is like a little kid's bracelet. That will also just be a dollar. And then we have, this one is not magnetic. So I'm thinking maybe silver. It's not stamped though. And that one's craft. Okay. I want to see what this ring is. Um, this is a cute little dolphin. It is a very, very pale pink. Like, is this a piece of carved coral? It's tiny. It is. Where's my ring sizer? Oh, here's my ring sizer. It's like a four or a five. Oh, it's not even a four. It's a three. It is a size three. So I'm thinking maybe this is a kid's ring. But um, this is a piece of something. I'm thinking this is some kind of shell or coral. So, um, size three, not sure what that stone is. Okay. And this is a cute little kid's bracelet. It is marked J C Y. I'm not sure what that says. Right there. Juicy. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but it has little pandas. Super adorable. So I, I, I'll have to look into that. Um, this would be so cute for Easter. It's super long. Let's get a measurement. Um, it's like a hand painted. It's 62 inches. No clasp though. Um, so 31 wearable. And there might be a little bit of wear. I don't think it's major. Actually, I don't even I thought I saw something, but maybe I don't. I don't know. Um, let's just do $2 on it. This would be so fun for Easter. Okay. We have a, a lot of shell necklaces. I did have um, a couple people reach out to me asking for shell stuff, but I couldn't find my... I Everything, all the door that I get basically kind of goes in like 
storage tubs and then gets put somewhere else. And I just don't know which tubs I put them in. So I looked for a couple of them that someone asked me for, but I couldn't find them. So I'm sorry if that was you. But I found lots of them right here. I, I don't even know how many there are. But if anyone wants all of these, uh, there's got to be at least five, maybe six of these necklaces all tangled up. Um, just let me know. This would be good for like a vacation or, I don't know, resell them. I know some shell jewelry does pretty good. I know I love selling Mother of Pearl. This is all coral. So this is hematite and coral and then some other beads mixed in between. But awesome. I love coral. Look how nice that is. It's a nice little pinky peach coral with hematite beads. Let's get a link on that. And let's see. This is about 16 inches. And um, that's nice. Hematite and coral. Okay, so this is Ellie. This is T. So this is going to go in craft. I highly doubt anyone with those initials are looking for that. Um, this will just go to my niece. Little owl ring. Let's see. We have a cute little bracelet. Those mark Liza. L-I-Z-A-O-S-L-I-Z-A-S. Um, let's just do, um, $3 on it. Really pretty. Black faceted glass. This is just a good, just layering piece just to have to layer up with some other, um, stacking bracelets. Okay, these definitely look like real pearls, guys. Um, no marks. This is an old clasp. Or older. Um, they are all hand knotted in between. And these are definitely real, real pearls. I'm shocked this isn't on like sterling or something. But these are real genuine pearls. So I might change out the clasp for one that's not all tarnished. Or maybe I'll just leave it as is because it probably is original to the piece. I don't know. If anyone is interested, just let me know. But it is a... 16 inches of um, real pearls. Hand on it in between. So nice. Okay. This could possibly be fake light, but it's probably loose sight. There's hair stuck in it. So that's lovely. Um, it is about 13 inches. Um, and I will try and test it for Simichrome. If it is, I'll put it on the screen. If I didn't get a chance to put on, test it, I'll put it on the screen. Um, or... It may just nothing movie of it on the screen because I guess it does. Look, this week is crazy. Also, I think this will be going up um, right after, right before 4th of July, right after 4th of July. So happy new year, not 4th of July. Um, this should be going up right after New Year's. So happy new year to everyone. I don't know what I was trying to say. Okay, so these, this is really nice. These are all glass. So these are glass. This is dyed um, shell, dyed shell, faux pearls. And then we have glass, shell, shell, faux pearl, glass. I think these are faux at least. Yeah. And then we have more of these stunning um glass. And then this is a close-up of the shell. I love this green glass with the gold flakes. So let's get a length on that. That is about 44 inches. Has a little bit of wear on the clasp. Let's just do um, $4 on this one. There might be some light wear to the links. So $4 for that. I like it. This says BPA free. I think it's one of those kids TV bracelets. So I might just save that for my niece. Um, this looks like sterling. Okay, we have another one of these faux Tiffany. I think I said a dollar for the other one. So let's do dollar for both. Um, so, yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this penny cuff. It is tiny. I know Christina's probably going to want it, but this will not fit your wrist, Christina. 
<laughs> this is really cool though. This is like probably a little girl's cuff. I mean, it's tight. Oh, well. It gets on, but it doesn't go on all the way. It only goes to like half my, my arm. Um, so that's probably like a little girl's cuff. Okay, let's see. These are all magnetic. Okay. Oh, this is a cool um, like sword and a tooth. It's a little odd. Let's see. This is Mart ABS. ABS. Isn't that designer? Isn't that like a designer brand, Abs? Isn't that, don't they, that brand usually like in designer unboxings, like on ThreadUp? I think that's a designer brand. Um, I'll have to ask Lindsay or Christina if that's the same brand. So let's see. Is it have all of its stones? I'll have to double check. It does look like they're all there. Um, so yay. I'll have to Google Lens that and um, I'll have a price on the screen. Uh, hopefully I'm having prices on the screen. If I don't, I'm sorry. Um, okay, here's the turquoise. Oh, and this is lapis. Yay. I love lapis and turquoise. So, um, is this real turquoise? I'm leaning towards no. I'm leaning towards this is how light. Um, there is no white veining. There is no, like, white anything by the drill hole. So it's looking like turquoise. Usually that's how you can tell. Is there a lot of white veining? Is there, um, is there a white around the drill hole? Those are, like, the, like, the obvious things to look for when you're looking to see if it's turquoise or faux turquoise. This does not have any of those signs, but I don't think it's real turquoise. I don't know. It doesn't look like turquoise to me, but turquoise comes in all colors, all shapes and sizes, from all different mines across the, you know, everywhere. Um, this is about 16, just shy of 16 inches. Um, I don't know. I really don't. Oh, it's nice though. Okay. This looks like lapis. Won't open. There we go. I'm thinking this is sterling. Don't see any maker's marks though. But this is a gorgeous lapis um pendant. You can and this is lapis azuli. It does have the gold flakes running throughout. the stone so nice yay okay oh let's get a length on it this is about another 16 inches so it's 16 inches um i will test the class to see if it's silver yay okay we have an adjustable bracelet i'm thinking these are hematite let's just do um a dollar on it hematite adjustable cord bracelet we have this necklace that is um adr d um 8dr i don't know it's not silver or anything i don't know i'll have to look into that it doesn't look like it's in good shape though it looks like it's broken have a necklace that is marked Ann Taylor um and looks like it's in really good shape so the links are like a faux terrazzo so it's like black with like silver like kind of splotches around it see um let's see if all the stones are on that I think they are Yep. So this is in really good shape and tailor. It is a 32 inch. Let's do $6. And this is regular and tailor. This is not loft or loft outlet or and tailor outlet. It's just regular and tailor. And we'll just do $6 on that. It's really pretty. Okay. 
I want to say I spent around like the $30, $40 mark on the slot, but I can't be certain because I don't have my receipt um, anywhere near me. These are all art glass beads. Um, so these are all glass or mixed media. We have some metal too. This is 36 inches. These are all glass beads. This one's really pretty. Okay, I think this is a rosary. Um, there's no maker's mark on it. It's acrylic. These are all heart-shaped beads. Let's just do a dollar on it. Okay. Ooh, look at this dichroic glass. This is cool. That's a really cool pendant. Let's just do um, $2 on it. $2 on the dichroic glass. It's pretty. Okay. This looks like it could be silver. Let's see. It is. All right. Sorry about that. I got a call. <laughs> this is marked silver. Um, well, partially L V E R silver. So yay. I'm hoping this is sterling. We will test it. All right. This is new without tags. It is a rose gold Rolo chain with a really pretty crystal butterfly. Um, and then it's marked with a T. I want to say that's a T. So I'll have to look Google Lens that and see if anything comes up. Because I've never seen that T before. Um, I'll have a press on the screen. We have another really pretty butterfly bracelet that is enameled with glass faceted beads. Let's just do a dollar on that one. Really pretty. We have this that I'm not sure what this is. It has a bat and it has stars and a butterfly. Not really sure what that is. Okay, we have two faux pearl necklaces. Um, let's just do... Oh, you wear them like that. So it's one necklace. So it's a cream and it's like a blue. And you get two of them. Let's do um, 30 inches. So let's just do three bucks. $3 on the faux pearls. Really pretty. We have a bracelet that is like a best friend. It is marked. Um, but hopefully we get the match. Okay, this is marked 925. Um, I hope. It looks like 925 at least. Um, it is marked. All right, guys. I am back. I am sorry about that. Um, my phone died on me. So... <laughs> That was fun. All right, so this is marked um, 925. It's also marked um, 1883. And I want to say it was also marked VI or IV or something along those lines. It is a 925 silver snake chain with the clasp, also 925 as well. Um, and then it also has that absolutely stunning. I would assume sapphire um, pendant. But again, I don't have my presidium, so I don't know. Um, but I'm going to test the stones to see if they are um, diamonds. They do go up on the um, diamond tester. So I, they might be something. So does the middle stones. So it might be something. I don't know. Um, but it's definitely sterling. Um, and I, we will test it just to make sure though. So 925 silver. Yay. Okay. Um, next we have, this is very tool to the touch. It is a black memory wire. So this is probably black glass, but I am not sure. Very pretty. Um, we have another shell necklace. I'll just put those with the other, other ones. We have a little bracelet that says live your dream. That is just going to go to craft. We have the match to this little odd looking earring. 
This looks like spiny oyster maybe. And these look like some kind of blue gemstone or semi-precious stone of some kind. It's like a bluish amethyst. It looks like an amethyst, but blue. That makes any sense. Like a blue quartz. Absolutely stunning. And I think this is spiny oyster or sponge oyster, one of the two. So that's really nice. I do not think that is silver. Just a vintage hook and eye shepherd's hook closure. It's about 18 inches. And yeah, I'm going to have to do some research on that piece. That's really nice. Um, Next, we have another one of these. Didn't we already get one of these? Or is this the same one? Oh yeah, we got another one. So this one is another like rice paper bead. Barrel clasp, 18 inch. $2 on that. <clears throat> We have this that I don't know what that is. I don't think it's silver. Um, I don't know, a dollar? Dollar on that. Okay, this is this loft. Um, J. Crew. Yay! We have a J. Crew necklace. So this is a nice long one. It is about 40 inches, 38 to 40 inches. And it is like a large faux pearl. There is some light, very light scratching um, with the rhinestones in between. So that is very nice. Let's do $10 on the J Crew. $10 on the J Crew. That was a really nice one. Okay, this is really worn, so that's just going to go to craft. It looks vintage though. Oh, we have another one of these Liza's. Let's just do $2 on this one. Really pretty. Okay, we have... This is just a... This has wear, so that's just going to go to craft. Um, we have another one of these little butterflies. This one's yellow. Again, we'll just do a dollar. So I think we have three of these. So three of them for three dollars. Um, we have like this. We'll just do a dollar. It's an adjustable bracelet. Very boho. Um, we have a barrel clasp. I'm not quite sure what these stones are. Or maybe it's wood or a nut. Um, let's just do a dollar on it. Um, ooh, ooh, I love this pendant. Pendant is marked something. This pendant does not belong on this, um, necklace. Someone stuck this on here. Um, okay. This pendant is stunning. It reminds me of, um... Oh, what's the name of that stone? Azurite? It reminds me of Azurite, but I don't think it is. It looks like Malachite and Lapis, like, put together. And it is marked. Something. Um, I'm thinking this might be silver or maybe even pewter. Are they fish? I think it's fish. This should be pretty recognizable. I'm thinking Google Lens might have something when I Google Lens that. But it's on these glass beads that are really pretty and hand-painted. But yeah, this pendant definitely comes off this chain. I will be taking the pendant off of that. That does not belong on it. That is just craft. Okay, we have another one of these kind of multi-layer. This is all acrylic beads, so this will just be a dollar. Dollar on that one. Um, these feel like ceramic. I think these are ceramic beads. Let's just do uh, two dollars on this one. Really pretty um, memory wire bracelet. We have a uh, kind of reminds me of olive wood. It's 30 inches. I'm thinking this is olive wood. Um, probably from Jerusalem. 
So I will hold on to this one, possibly to use those beads. Um, okay, this is interesting. Is this all one necklace? One, two, three. Okay, we have four. Four faux pearl necklaces all by that tag. Um, I don't know that brand. Lindy, Linda, Linda something, Linda Doss, Linda Dawn, Linda Dowell. I don't know. If anyone knows what that brand is, please put it in the chat because I have no idea. I think that's a D. So L-I-N-D-E or L-I-N-D-A, D-A, and then something. I don't know. But you get, there's four of them and they're all hand knotted in between each faux pearl. So that's interesting. Definitely a look up piece. Um, I think it was our last couple pieces. This has wear on the clasp. This will just be a dollar. There are faux pearls and black faceted beads. That'll just be a dollar. We have a little snowflake. Looks like it's marked something on the clasp. I just can't figure out what that says. Looks like a little dot. Maybe it's Avon. Um, let's just do two dollars on it. Okay, and our last piece, our last piece, okay, oh my goodness, this is absolutely stunning. So these are all crystal, and they all have like an AB Aurora Borealis coating. Now it is missing a lot of its stones, so it's missing stones there. The class needs some help as well. Um, this one's missing all of its stones. Um, these are stunning though. I don't see any maker's marks. This is a stunning piece. If anyone is interested, just let me know. Honestly, I would just pop out these rhinestones and then just make it look like it was, you know, made to have no rhinestones there. Um, that is stunning. This is definitely vintage. Look at all those um, crystal beads. So stunning. Um, and this will be for sale. I don't really know what to price something like this. So if you're interested, just send me an email. All right, that was my box. That was everything. So let's test the silver. Let's see what is silver and what's not. I'm really curious about this pendant. So let's test that right here. It has like a slight design to the, it's really nice. Okay. So that's possibly silver. And then, um, oh, the tilapis. So let's test the corner. Let's test the outside. Okay, so let's, let's test. I, I'm thinking some of this might be sterling. Holy moly, this whole necklace is sterling. Okay. Okay, dokie. Wow, okay, a lot of this is sterling. Okay, so this pendant is not sterling, so my computer. This whole chain, all of these links, this is silver. This is all sterling silver. I'm going to have to go over this very carefully and see if there's any, like, even just one of these marks is linked with, like, a, maybe a brand. This is all sterling silver. Um, This tested for sterling, the chain and the pendant. And this bracelet is also 925. This one's old. It's marked um, L-V-E-R. <laughs> Um, this is an old one. So that's silver. This did not test. However, this did. Um, what did I test in between? Um, this did test silver. This bracelet. So this is solid sterling, guys. And this did not test for silver. So maybe it's a gold filled, maybe, clasp. Maybe it's gold. I don't know. 
So um, not bad at all. We got a decent amount of sterling. So what did actually test sterling was this necklace chain, the snake chain and the pendant, this bangle, this bracelet, and this little um, dangle. Um, we got a lot of great pieces, like the vintage crystal was a great, this turquoise, faux turquoise, I'm not sure, necklace. We got the J. Crew, which was a really nice and excellent condition. Um, and of course, the best piece, like, ever, this crazy, it's crazy amber. This alone will, you know, obviously pay for the box. And maybe all the other ones I also bought with it. Um, we got the lapis. We got the coral and other gemstone I'm not sure about. Um, we got the Ann Taylor. So I'm glad we got a couple, you know, name brand pieces. You know, not just... I like getting name brands. I like getting, you know, silver... I like just getting it all. <laughs> we got the Malafori stretch and we got the maybe, maybe not Kendra Scott. So overall, I think this is a great box. The amber alone, in my opinion, like if that was the only piece we got, I'd still be happy. So yeah, this was my box. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment on what your favorite piece was. I love this amber. So I'm thinking the amber is going to be my favorite. But there's lots of other goodies in here. Um, I love that crystal. Um, so yeah, so comment what your favorite piece was. And please make sure you're subscribed. Guys, I want to start doing weekly jewelry auctions here on YouTube. Um, so make sure you have that notification bell turned on. So you get all my notifications when I go live, when I post a new video, when I post in my community page. So yeah. All right, guys, that's my dog. He's not sick. He just drank water. Whenever he drinks a lot of water, he starts coughing. Um, but he's not sick. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.